Lay ministry really is about each individual serving the church, using the talents that God has given to reflect God's glory, to put God before yourself uh, in everything you do in your life. And it's one of the hardest things that is asked of us, and we often fail in, the, in our efforts. But I think God still believes in us, still encourages us to uh, minister to one another and to give to one another that selfless love that he gave to us. Lay ministry in the Armenian Church, the Ministry of the Faithful, was the focus of discussion at the 109th Diocesan Assembly held this spring in Boston, Massachusetts. 155 clergy and lay delegates representing parishes across the Eastern Diocese gathered for the annual meeting. In a continuation of the diocesan theme, Vocations, the Call to Serve, this year, delegates explored ways in which members of the Armenian Church could deepen their service to their parishes and enrich their contributions to the Church's mission. I believe that we're called in all in different ways. Some people are called to be with the youth and, you know, give. Or some people are called to serve on the altar. But I believe that in every capacity that we give as Christians, Armenian Christians, or Christians in general, I believe that uh, we are all called to be lay ministers in the church. Diocesan primate Archbishop Kajag Barsamian presided over the assembly. Addressing the delegates, Archbishop Barsamian spoke about the apostles gathered in the upper room and the way ordinary people were inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve God. Fishermen were gathered together in prayer. After receiving the power of the Holy Spirit, how they changed and how they were able to go to the world and transform the world. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. In your parish life, I know you represent God's call in different ways. And all these different forms of service are for one goal. Through the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit to keep the church healthy and alive. Delegates also heard from guest speaker Catherine Lohr, president-elect of the National Council of Churches, who encouraged them to identify and develop their call to serve the church. It was a message echoed by several speakers, including Father Hovnan Demirjan, pastor of St. Hagop Church in St. Petersburg, Florida. You do not have to be ordained uh, to be a minister in the Armenian Church. What is your calling or what is your ministry is one of those questions no one else can answer for you. You have a question from God of uh, why did he make you and what was the purpose that he uh, brought you into this world and into the Armenian Church. Uh, your ministry uh, is what you do to answer God's question. In small groups, clergy and delegates brainstorm ways to expand lay ministry in their home parishes and build stronger participation in church life. I think people really realize that we're all truly ministering right now. Now even by their presence here, it's a form of lay ministry or you know, clerical ministry if they were priests. Um, I believe that they got a feel that we're all one body and everyone has a different function within that body. We are all part of the body of Christ. We are the body of the church and every part of that body is essential and important to the functioning of the whole. His call to us and the commandment that he gave to his disciples and through his disciples to all of us was to love one another as he has loved us. And the commandment really is the basis for our ability as Christians to not only receive salvation, but to uh, create and establish and live in the kingdom of heaven, not as a distant place or not as something that will be years from now, but something that we can achieve here on earth, right here and right now, reflecting God's glory um, in our lives so that others can see the light and understand the importance of the call to serve. 
Delegates also heard reports from the diocesan organizations and elected new officers for the diocesan council and the board of trustees. The gathering of parish representatives was an opportunity to recognize important contributions to the Armenian church and the larger Armenian community. Among those honored were Armenian Church Member of the Year, Sarkis Bedevian, Massachusetts Governor, Deval Patrick, and the Executive Committee of Boston's Armenian Heritage Foundation. Before adjourning, delegates extended their gratitude to the Holy Trinity Armenian Church of Cambridge, which hosted this year's assembly. One thing we found is in putting this, this process together is that all, everyone who contributed in our parish was actually taking a part in, in lay ministry. Lay ministry for us is everyone participating in the fullness of the church, bringing their talents and their skills to the church, and together we become one body and we minister to the greater uh, faith in, in the greater body of our parish.